How's it going guys? Uh, thanks for clicking on another video here. So uh, we're out again on another little adventure. Uh, we're out with a canoe this time as you can tell. I got the two dogs here with me once again. And uh, we're out in the salt water here today on the northeast coast of Newfoundland. So we're just paddling around the bay and uh, just pulled into this nice little beach here. And this is where we're gonna spend the evening. Beautiful little spot here. Just got the gear up by uh, this little rock here. Just pulled the canoe up in the trees and tied it on. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get settled in here now. Start to uh, set up camp for the evening. And uh, yeah, I got some good food here to cook up. We're gonna have a fire. There's a ton of driftwood around, so won't have to look far at all for wood. More here than I'll use tonight. So I got a ton of gear on this trip uh, because there's no portaging or hiking or anything like that it's just uh, I just paddled right out to this spot so I could pretty much take whatever I could fit in the canoe within reason. So I got quite a bit of gear, uh, I got the food barrel and I even brought a small cooler there with some ice in it uh, to keep my food and uh, my drinks and stuff cold. So yeah it should be a nice comfortable evening here. Uh, it's beautiful now. The wind is supposed to pick up uh, later this evening, tonight, and it's supposed to be quite windy tomorrow. So uh, the original plan is for a one night trip here, but uh, I did take the forecast into account. So I brought some extra food and I do have enough stuff to stay for two nights if need be. So we'll see how that goes. Well, just kicked back here, having a cold beer. I uh, got all the gear and stuff put in the tent, so 
Uh, it's only about five o'clock here now, so I'm uh, just gonna enjoy my beer, and uh, then I'm gonna get a little fire pit ready in front of the tent here, just behind where the camera's at, and uh, collect a bunch of driftwood. Like I said, there's tons of wood here, so I'll uh, grab a bunch of that, saw some up, make a, a nice little pile of firewood, and uh, then we'll get the fire going and uh, cook up some food. Hey Molly, good girl. Oh, you're jealous, aren't you? You're jealous. Goose gets jealous as soon as, uh, as soon as you pay any attention to Molly. Goose comes running over. He gets jealous. He got to get in on it too. So, almost 6.30 here now, so I'm going to get the fire going, and uh, we'll get some food on the go. Starting to get pretty hungry here now. waiting for the fire to burn down a bit here now so I can throw the uh, frying pan on. So uh, tonight on the menu we have some pan fried cod tongues. I'm going to have those for a little appetizer and uh, then I got a steak to throw on the grill as well so I'll throw that on a little bit later. Yeah so I think uh, a good percentage of my uh, subscribers so far are from Newfoundland here. So you guys are probably more than familiar with cod tongues, but uh, for anyone who's not familiar, uh, it is what it sounds like. It's the actual tongue out of a codfish. So uh, the recreational cod fishery is open here in Newfoundland now. Uh, usually opens uh, during the summertime. So right now, uh, for the month of July and August, uh, we're permitted to go out in boat here in the ocean and uh, catch five codfish per day uh, on the weekends that is it's Saturday Sunday and Monday through the course of the summer so we can go out and catch our cod or uh, sorry our five codfish per day per person uh, to a maximum of 15 fish per boat per day so uh, I've been out the last two weekends now and uh, got my my catch of codfish. So actually my father and I were out last Sunday, so two days ago, and we got 10 codfish between us there. So I got the tongues out of those, 10 cod tongues here to cook up tonight. And uh, yeah, I think uh, cod tongues are kind of uh, one of those things, people either love them or hate them. So yeah, the tongues are uh, one of my favorite little uh, snacks to have, especially this time of year when you can uh, take them fresh right out of the water. So the tongues I have here tonight uh, haven't even been frozen yet. Like I said, we just caught them there two days ago. So 
Yeah, looking forward to frying those up now. It'll be the first meal of cod tongues for this year, so they're going to be good. So anyways, I'll show you guys now when I uh, start to prepare and what I'm going to do with them. So I got the 10 tongues here. Uh, so all I'm going to do now, I uh, usually just toss them in a little bit of flour, but tonight I brought a little bit of fish crisp. So uh, I'm going to toss them in that tonight just to try something a little different. So this is beer batter flavored fish crisp. I'm sure it's going to be good. So I'm just going to throw all the tongues down in this little baggie now with the fish crisp. Give them a little toss and uh, we'll get them in the frying pan. Oh yeah, these are looking good. Nice and golden brown. Gonna be good. Oh, I'm gonna call them done here. They don't take long to cook. enjoy these cod tongues now then I'm gonna throw my steak on after I get these uh, finished up here anyways first time trying this beer it's a session IPA from Kitty Vitty so cheers oh it's good see what the cod tongues are like Oh yeah, deadly. Like I said, first time having uh, having cod tongues this year, so they're good. These are perfect size uh, cod tongues too. Sometimes when you get the real big fish, they got obviously bigger tongues so uh, they tend to be a lot more jelly like but these are these are a good size here fry them up uh, brown them up good in the pan and they're good hard to beat it molly's here staring at me drooling so i'll give them uh, one each here I know Molly loves them. I don't think Goose ever had them before, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see if he likes them. I'm sure he will. This is the biggest one of the bunch. Take it nice, Molly. <laughs> See if Goose will eat one. Sit. Good boy. Oh yeah, hardly even chewed it. Is it good? What's your first cod tongue, bud? <laughs> He's wondering if there's any more, I think.
salt steak is all cooked up here, guys. I think it's cooked anyways. I like my steak pretty rare, so I would imagine it's cooked enough for my liking. Up when the steak was done, were you? you can beat uh, a good steak cooked over a fire. This puts an, puts an amazing taste on it. Man, what a beautiful evening. Well guys, uh, I'm just going to eat up the rest of my steak here, and uh, yeah, we'll check back with you guys here in a little bit. Well guys, as you can see, it's just an absolutely beautiful evening. Wow, unreal. Sun is just going down behind the mountains over here. We're in for a beautiful sunset here. Amazing. Not a breath of wind.
Well guys, just been sitting by the fire here, relaxing for the last couple hours. Uh, it's almost 10.30 here now, so I'll probably sit out here for another hour or so maybe, or until I get tired. And then I'm going to crawl in the tent called an evening. Yeah, it's just an absolutely beautiful evening here. Couldn't ask for uh, nicer weather. Just amazing. So calm and peaceful. Goose is trying to get in the tent here now, so I'm going to let him in. He'll probably go in and go to sleep for the night. Yeah, that's about it for the night, guys. Uh, unless something exciting happens overnight here. But uh, hopefully it'll be a quiet night now, and uh, we'll check in with you guys in the morning. Morning guys, so uh, it's pretty early here, but uh, like I said yesterday, the wind's supposed to be picking up here this morning, so actually I thought it was going to pick up overnight, that's what the forecast said, but still uh, still pretty calm out there, beautiful morning. But yeah, I'm going to get an early start here, just got the fire going, and uh, I'm going to cook up a quick breakfast and a coffee, and uh, we're going to get moving here pretty early because I want to get ahead of that wind. Finished up my breakfast there. Uh, I got a little bit of coffee left, so I'm going to finish that up. And uh, I'm letting the fire burn down here now, so I'll make sure that's out. And uh, yeah, take the tent down, pack up all the gear, and uh, that'll be about it for this video. Like I said, wind is supposed to be picking up, and I can actually see it breezing up just a little bit on the water here behind me. So yeah, I'm gonna. Gonna get moving early here this morning, and uh, we'll uh, try and get out of here before the wind pins us down. Well, guys, uh, pretty much all packed up here now. 
just gonna do a bit of water on that fire, make sure that's out, and uh, load the gear in the canoe, and we'll be calling it a trip. So still a beautiful morning, not a whole lot of wind yet, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of here while I can. So yeah, I'm just sitting here kind of uh, thinking about uh, you know how it's easy to take for granted, I think, uh, what's, uh, how special of a place we have here in Newfoundland. Uh, I'm not all that far away from, uh, from the main road here, actually. I'm probably, I don't know, maybe a kilometer in a straight line from the main road here. But, uh, yeah, since I got out here yesterday afternoon, I haven't seen or heard a single person. Uh, it's just been nothing but uh, silence. You know, other than the, the birds and uh, the occasional plane flying overhead here, it's just been absolute, uh, absolute silence. So many beautiful uh, places to to explore right here in our backyards. We don't have to go very far at all, so. I try and remind myself every now and then uh, how great of a place we live in here. So that's part of the reason why uh, I do these videos, is so I can kind of show people or uh, show people from different parts of the world and stuff uh, what an awesome place that Newfoundland and Labrador is. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick overnighter here, but. I'm glad I came out. It was an absolutely beautiful evening here on the beach. Couldn't ask for better. So anyways, uh, hope everyone's doing good. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and we'll see you on the next video.